in the water. That's what some Democrats say they see, including the vice president after winning a victory on issue two in Ohio. Today, Joe Biden came to Cleveland to ride the wave of support. News Channel 5's John Kosick was there. And John, they're hoping it's a sign of things to come. Yeah, no question about it, Lee, in the overwhelming defeat of issue two. Democrats see opportunity, and they didn't want to waste a single day before attempting to seize that momentum and build on it leading into next November. That the vice president chose a fire station in Euclid to make the case for re-election is not by chance. Many feel a major flaw in Senate Bill 5 was including police and fire in the collective bargaining reforms, where other states like Wisconsin did not. While polls in Ohio show voters disapprove of President Obama's job performance, they also show him leading against all the possible Republican nominees. Biden today saying Senate Bill 5 was an attack on the middle class, and if you voted against it in the form of issue 2, then you should vote for Barack Obama. You fired the first shot. You fired the first shot. And folks, it's not about Barack Obama. It's not about Joe Biden. It's about whether or not middle class people are going to get put back in the saddle again because they're the ones that make this country move. But I asked the vice president what he would say to those in the middle class already struggling who may end up paying more in taxes because issue two failed. We'll have his answer to that tonight at six. Plus, look at the question, could Ohio be turning blue? Live in the newsroom, John Kosick, News Channel 5.